a male pole dancer. Believe it or not, no, I'm not a stripper. It's a competitive sport. It takes a lot of athleticism, a lot of strength, a lot of flexibility, and a lot of time dedicated to it. I think when someone hears pole dancing, their mind immediately goes to a strip club or to a stripper, and that's not necessarily wrong. There are two types of pole dancing. There's pole dancing, and then there's pole fitness. And what I like to think of is I do a combination of both. I mix a dance and a fitness, and I bring them together. It's painful, fun, hard, it's, it's everything all mixed into one. I mean, your body, when you first start, is not used to you know, the pole, and you need as much skin as possible, which is why you gotta wear the little shorts, you gotta wear a t-shirt. So you need as much skin as possible to, you know, get the stick on the pole. So, I mean, I'm constantly learning new things, getting new bruises, getting scratched up, pole burn, it hurts to hold the moves, but it's just a part of the experience. Believe it or not, on the East Coast, it's still a little like, oh, you're a male pole dancer. I, I haven't really heard of that. But on the West Coast, like California, Vegas, they're all over. This is a huge industry in the West Coast. It's just now picking up uh, in the East Coast. In the UK, it's mainly male pole dancing in the competitions and everything. So I think it's still going to take a little bit more time for, you know, the people over here in Jersey and Philly and New York to get used to it. But it's starting to get a little more mainstream. Is it, can I say to a stranger, I'm a male pole dancer and they're not gonna look at me funny? No, not yet, but it will come. <laughs>